for Polina. Mikhailova will begin with the backhand serve against Han Ying in his first game. Wow, well, Han Ying goes for the toss, and Polina Mikhailova dismissively slaps it down the line. A shot that's proved successful for her so much this competition. Head to head wise, these two have played three times. And Han Ying's won two of those. Last time he played was in 2015. And then Mikhailova won that one 4 2. Yeah. And Big Cho levels it up two points apiece. Wow, no chance for Hang Ying. Fire down into the middle. Really good place to play the ball. Suffocates your opponent from being able to play a comfortable shot. Wow, look at this shot, so flat. More common in the women's game to see. We see Mima Ito and other players in the women's game driving through the ball flat. Defeated. Amazing plays to get to this final stage. Look at that again, proving really successful. A recipe for success that forehand. She's been more positive than Han Ying so far in the attacks. As I was saying, she beat Hannah Matalova, Nina Mittonhelm. And Sophia Polkanova, the top seed in the semi final. Handy in the second seed beat Barbara Balatsova. Samara in a grueling 4 3. And Benedetta Sox in very convincing fashion. What a backhand that is, swatting through it again. Flat, judging the trajectory of the ball brilliantly. Counter touchman from Han Ying. A shot that proved successful against both Romanians that she knocked out. Samara and Bernadette Sox. That hook serve, so heavy with backspin. Bites into the table. Michael Lover makes an error immediately on the receive. Nothing to separate these two. So far, the second tall break. This time Han Ying's in the lead. Michael Lover goes for the backhand. These modern defensive players at this level are so amazing. We see that in the men's game as well with Ruin Phyllis. Frustrated with herself, Mikhailova. Perhaps got a little bit impatient there. You have to build it up against Han Ying because the chops are so heavy. You don't want to keep attacking into the pimples because it gets heavier. The same can be said for Mikhailova. Beautiful topspin down the line.
And there we have it with the backhand. It popped up. She picks out the right one and eats it up. Both players tossing each other out. Haven't played each other in seven years on the international stage. Whoa! Hang in with the reaction shot cross court. Unbelievable play. Mikhailova did everything right, but it still wasn't enough. Hanging everywhere at once away from the table. Wow. Oh, both, both players taking turns, attacking and defending. Han Ying this time comes out on top in the opening game. Stay tuned for game number two. Time two defensive players met in the final of a top 16 was 2009. Lee Kwan and Lee Jie. So deadly. Nothing much you can really do about that. Lovely forehand on the parallel. Right down the line, troubles hanging, stretches her, forces the error. Two points here, Rowan Alpha, Polina Mikhailova. Side swiping chops. Goes for the backhand again. And use the long pimples to go through a heavy ball a bit easier than you can with a smooth rubber. Similar to short pimples in that sense. Goes for that winner again down the line. Hanging, hanging on in that rally. Yeah. Well, Polina Mikulova seems more comfortable than hanging in opening the rally against the backspin. Han Ying seems more comfortable countering with the forehand. But I'll take nothing away from the forehand swat of Polina Mikhailova because it's leaping with. Ooh, clips the net, Mikhailova recovers. Unbelievable point, the best of the match so far. Sometimes when two defensive players play against each other and refuse to attack, it comes to the expedite rule if the match lasts for too long. Stop. I think it was the right one to hit there. Really heavy, you can see the bite of the backspin into the 
caught on rubber and fell over. So heavy and hard to deal with. Big show from Mikhailova. Levels it up in five all. These two athletes staying with each other all the way. Amazing forehand. Even the insane recovery of Han Ying can't do anything about that. Mikulova recognises that it's better to play into the middle than into that forehand area where Han Ying can fish and counter. Wow, the improvisation of Han Ying, how has she got that back? Goodness knows, here we see it. Oh. It's Oh, stunning winner there. Everyone enjoying this kind of attacking and defending variation in each rally. Both players showing all the skills in their arsenal. And being attacking first this time. Yeah, that backhand again being the recipe for success for Mikhailova. She has a two-point cushion now and will serve. Good advantage for the Russian in this second game. Well, Han Ying questioning why she's chopping so high but you've got to give credit to the Russians forehand it's been good in the past two sets Ooh. goes for a trolls more guard slap down the line doesn't land two serves an attempt to level things up at nine all Ooh. Goes for the backhand. It's the right idea. That one did pop up a slight bit more. The first chop of the pimples is float, so perhaps that one's harder to chop if you're one of the opponents. Down the middle. Huge point there. Third. Tower break. Love it with a chance now to level things up. Oh, devastating net card. What a time to get it for Han Ying. Oh. oh, and the backhand this time doesn't land. A couple of net cords in there, but unbelievable persistence and focus from both. Han Ying hangs on. Mikhailova can't convert behind either of the two serves. Becomes less effective with two choppers on the. Both players have a style to prolong each rally. Mikhailova 
puts it away this time. Han Ying wounded by that bullet of a forehand. Beautiful play from the Russian. A third game point. So you kind of expect these rallies to last quite long, so anything before three or four shots becomes a surprise in a way, doesn't it? Because there's some lengthy rallies already, as anticipated. Oh, well, some karma for Mikulova. You could argue she deserved one after Han Ying survived the game at 10-8 with the net that she got. Oh, the backhand of Mikulova. I thought that was done and dusted. So did everyone else in the crowd. Han Ying says no chance. Here we see it. It's the edge though. What a rally. Oh, but it can't put the icing on the cake. Down, but never. Oh, but can't make that backhand. Disappointment for the Russian there. Han Ying, courtesy of that net cord, partly at 10-8 takes the second game and is halfway there to the top podium finish. See what game three has in store. Stay tuned. As I said before, the last time two choppers faced each other in the European top scene, top 16, was 2009, Dusseldorf. It would have been a European top 12 because it was changed to top 16 in 2015. This event was first held in 1971. It was an experimental classification tournament. Deja vu as that backhand swat comes in. Mikulova still well in this final, don't have any doubts about that. This one could well go the distance. To my knowledge, actually, the closest anyone's come in the men's to get in a European singles title of any kind is Gionis back in 2013. Typically, these defenders do better in the women's game than they do in the men's. Kind of skidded off the surface that forehand of Han Ying there, action on the ball. You can see on the logo revving around. Ooh. Incredible with that shot. Always out wide to the backhand as well, never down the line. Mikulova's aware that Han Ying's so dangerous on the forehand counter.
Wow. Devastating down the line. Every time I see a chopping, I'm kind of thinking to myself, when's that backhand going to come? It's ever looming, isn't it? Oh, that was an excellent serve from Han Ying. The kicker popped up the receive, Mikulova, and Han Ying said thank you very much and took it on the forehand. Same serve again. Side swiping chop. Ooh. Well. Again, it's fine missing as long as you're missing going for the right shots. And there's an example of that. Second Tarbrova in the lead as she was in the previous game. She stayed strong, hasn't shown any frustration or impatience with the situation. She could have taken the second game. Yourself. How did I miss that? It's good quality on the top spin from Han Ying. It's a game of chess, isn't it? This sussing each other out, trying to find an opening. And a big point there to keep the two point cushion for the Russian. And again, Han Ying coming one away, but then two. It's Mikhailova stamping her authority. Simple serve. Oh, is that coming back? Oh, spots the opening, can't go through the door. Game of cat and mouse right now. Can Hang Ying chase it to nine all? And there she does it. Well worked constructing this point beautifully. And 10 8, another deja vu to finish it this time. She was really hoping that Han Ying doesn't get a net like she got in the last game. 8 10. Han Ying goes really aggressive straight away. Under pressure, playing very boldly. Oh, and Han Ying cancels it out again for the second time in a row. Second game in a row she's done this. Mikhailova will be asking serious questions of herself if she can't finish this. So brave. And fortune favours the brave. How brave is Han Ying going to be now? 10-11. Oh, and the counter, a whisker away. Tries to go down the middle. Oh, 
Oh. Han Ying just ever present. Oh, and that's devastating, excruciating for Mikhailova. She's been there amongst the action so close each time. Sits in the corner to talk through with Yana Noskova. What could be going wrong and what needs to go right? Han Ying ecstatic. Well, we've seen this kind of lead, you know, by two points quite often from Mikhailova. But you're less confident she can retain it after the last few games. Oh, my goodness. Always comes back. Oh, and you think third time was the charm, not that time. Han Ying's so solid and she chops quite close to the table as well so it doesn't give you as much time as a chopper who defends fairly far back. if the timeout from Polkanova can stop that momentum. Lovely finish. Both players taking turns attacking. Han Ying this time coming out on top. A little bit too upright on that backhand. Needs to get slightly lower. Start from a high position when you play a backhand against backspin. More likely to go in the net than if you start lower, go up the back of it. The most one-sided game we've seen. Ying here in this fourth game. Oh. 
Lovely angle. Out of reach. Yep. Another clean winner. Nearly comes down. Good play from Mikel over though. Staying with Han Ying. Reducing the deficit. That one, she came too flat through. It was packed with backspin. Three championship points for Han Ying of Germany. Can she do it? She can. Han Ying is champion here in Montreux. She takes her first major European singles title to add to the three golds that she's had in the women's team for Germany. The career best of Polina Mikulova too. Great tournament for her. She was outclassed in this final, especially in the last game. The first three sets were ever so close. But there we have it for women's singles. Stay tuned because up next we have the men's singles final between Truls Moragard, Swedish superstar, and Darko Jorgic of Slovenia. Two youngsters up and coming in the world. You do not want to miss that one. Ying Hung, congratulations on that uh, great win. Very impressive. Um, you are a very patient player. You wait at the back of the table and keep pushing it back and wait for the opponent to make a mistake. How do you stay so patient under pressure instead of suddenly speeding up and making a mistake yourself? Because this is my style and I have to believe myself to be patient, yes. And it certainly seemed to work today. Um, you prepared yourself for this final. You told us earlier how you were going to prepare for yourself. What happens now after Montreux, though? Uh, what does the rest of the season look like for you? How are you preparing yourself for the next competitions? Yeah, 
first few days, so I will take Greece, and after I will prepare for Singapore, so uh, grind smash, and yeah, but after this tournament, I feel really good with, with my shape. And uh, this is uh, your second time in Montreux, an immediate winner. What would you like to say to the spectators here in uh, Montreux now that you've uh, been here twice and won? Um, I'm really happy to play here and the fans, they are really nice and support to me. And yes, so uh, thank you. Hello. Thank you too very much, Ying Han. And we'll see you at the award ceremony later on. Congratulations.